So let's see the next question. A farmer divides his herd of n cows among his four sons so that the first son gets one half of the herd, the second one one fourth, the third and fourth son gets four cows each. What is the value of n? So first write total number of cows with farmer is given as n. To first son he gives half of the total number that is 1 by 2 n. To the second son he gives 1 by 4th of the total number that is 1 by 4 n cows he gives to the second son. To the third son he gives 7 cows and also to the fourth son he gives 7 cows. So the sum of all these would be equal to n. So we equate it here we get 1 by 2 n plus 1 by 4 n plus 7 plus 7 equals n that is 3 by 4 n plus 14 n 14 equals n that is 1 by 4 n equals 14 n equals 14 into 4 that is equals 56. That is 56 is the number of cows that the farmer put. So let's see the next question. If 15 men working 9 hours a day can reap a field in 16 days, in how many days will 18 men reap the field working 8 hours a day? So this is the question. So we will see the work done by men in one day. What is the work done by men? One men in one day is equal to 1 by 16 into 9 into 15. You might be wondering how you got this digit. Okay, I'll just uh, say you the concept how we get this. Okay, so in the question, it's given that 15 men working 9 hours a day can reap a field in 16 days, right? So, 15 men working 9 hours for 16 days, a complete work is done. So, this could be divided into 16 equal parts, right? So, each day the men completes 1 by 16, 15 men completes 1 by 16th of the work in one day, right? 1 by 16th of the work in one day, right? So, in one day, for how many hours they work? They work for 9 hours a day. So, 1 by 16 into 9 hours work in one day right this is for 15 men right this both are for 15 men so for one man work done will be equal to 1 by 15 into 16 into 9 so this is the work done by one man in total okay is the concept clear so work done by one man in one day is equals 1 by 1 1 by 16 into 9 into 15 so in the same way we have to calculate in how many days will 18 men reap the field working 8 hours a day so we can write this as work done by one man in one day 
equals 1 by x into 18 sorry 1 by x into 8 into 18 okay in the question I will tell you this also this is same as this only like x is the number of days that is we have to find the number of days in the answer that we put it as x and 8 is the working hours in one day and 18 is the number of men so we equate this equation number 1 and equation number 2 and solve for x so we get it as 1 by 16 into 9 into 15 is equal to 1 by x into 8 into 18 so solve by solving for x equals 16 into 9 into 15 divided by 8 into 18 so we get the answer as 15 days so the answer is 15 days so let's look into the next question if 20 percent of a equals b then b percent of 20 is same as 4 percent of a b is 5 percent of a c is 20 percent of a and d is none of these so first let's solve this thing that is what is given in the question is 20 percent of a equals b that is you can write this as 20 by 100 into a equals b right so 20 by 100 is 1 by 5 therefore a equals a by 5 equals b right so we substitute the value of b that is a by 5 in the second equation we that is b percent of 20 is b by 100 into 20 what is b here b is a by 5 so a by 5 into 1 by 100 into 20 right so we can write this as we can cancel 5 and 20 we get this as 4 so we can write this as 4 percentage of a or vice versa that is a percentage of 4 we can write it in both terms but in question it's given 4 percent of a is one of the options so we write 4 percentage of a as the answer so the next question is if log 27 is equal to 1.47437 then the value of log 9 is so for this we have a formula log a raised to b is equal to b log a this is the formula we are using here that is we can write log 27 is equal to 1.437 that is log 3 cube is equal to 1.437 so according to the formula log a raised to b equals b log a right so we can apply it here we can write it as 3 log 3 is equal to 1.437 that is log 3 is equal to 1.437 divided by 3 which is equal to 0 0.477 okay so we got the value of log 3 what is what the what is the value that we want we want the value for log 9 i write it here log 9 is equal to log 3 square right 3 into 3 is 9 right so we can write this as in this formula we can write this as 2 log 3 what is the value of log 3 we have already obtained it as 
0 0.477 right so you substitute the value here 2 into 0 0.477 and we get the value as 0 0.954 so let's see the next question here the average age of eight persons increased by two years when two women are included in place of two men of ages 20 and 24 years find the average age of the woman so let's write the question here that is x1 plus x2 plus x6 plus x7 plus x8 by 8 is equal to x1 plus x2 plus x6 plus x7 plus x8 whole divided by 8. So, LHS and RHS is equal here. We will incorporate the what is given in the question in this formula. So, it is given that two women were added like when two women are included in the place of two men. So, we write this we say x7 and x8 two women were added of ages 20 of ages not given for women of say w1 plus w2 two women were added in place of two men of ages 20 and 24. So, here we change this as 20 plus 24. So, it is also given that when this is done, the average age of 8 persons increased by 2 years. So, here there is an increase of 2 years, right. So, this is the formula here. We can solve this 2 plus x1 plus x2 plus dot dot x6 whole divided by 8 plus 20 plus 4 24 whole divided by 8 equals x1 plus x2 plus x3 dot dot x6 whole divided by 8 plus w1 plus w2 divided by 8. Here in the second step all we did is we split up this equation into two parts and we split this equation into two parts right. So this and this gets cancelled right and we solve the equation that is Twenty plus twenty-four is forty-four. Forty-four by eight plus two equals W one plus W two by eight. Right. So we br we bring the we take the LCM here and we get it as sixteen plus forty-four by eight equals W one plus W two by eight. 8 and 8 gets cancelled so we get it as w1 plus w2 is equal to 16 plus 44 is 60 so the age of w1 that is age of the two women is equal to 60 so what is go given in the question find the average age of the woman so the, we can take this average as w1 plus w2 by 2 that is equals 60 by 2 equals 30. So, this is our answer. So, we will see the next question here. An article is bought for rupees 600 and sold for rupees 500. Find the loss percentage, right. So, the options given is 16 4 by 3 percent, 33 1 by 3 percent, 16 percent, 16 2 by 3 percent, right. We have four options here. So, first we can write this as, so what is CP here, that is cost price is equal to rupees 600 and selling price and is equal to that is SP 
equals rupees 500. We have a formula for loss percentage. Loss percentage equals loss by CP into 100. What is the formula for loss? Loss equals CP minus SP. Right. So we calculate loss percentage is equal to what is loss? CP minus SP. Right. So 600 minus 500 divided by what is CP here? It's 600. 600 into 100. Right. Equals 600 minus 500 is 100 divided by 600 into 100 0 and 0 here get cancelled 100 by 6 is equals we can write this as 100 divided by 6 is equals 1646364 right so we can write this as 16 6 by 4 in the form of mixed fraction All right we can just reduce this and write it that, write this as 16 2 by 3 so here d is the answer 16 2 by 3 percentage